tell us your memories of, of, of 20 years ago with all that stuff going on. Well, I tell you what, 20 years ago, sometimes I find it hard to remember what was happening yesterday, but I do remember a lot about that team of 20 years ago because it was just a great team to watch. You know, we had so many good players, didn't we? I mean, there were Joe's goal, you know, who's a Hartlepool legend and deservedly so. I, I loved watching Paul Dalton because, you know, we weren't used to seeing people with the sort of sweet skills that, that he had. Uh, Paul Baker, Brian Honor. I think Never Say Die must have been written for Brian, although I think people underestimate he was a mighty skillful player as well. So we had some, we had some great players, you know, and I mean, it was just a fantastic season. You know, the funny thing was that my first memory of that season wasn't a particularly happy one. Well, not from a Hartlepool point of view anyway, because remember in the League Cup, you know, that we were drawn away at, at Tottenham. Yeah. And I, I decided that, you know, I'd go to, I was, was living in London, so I'd go to White Hart Lane, of course, and as such, I, I got there late. It's, it's one of those things, isn't it? You, you can't get there by tube, you can't get there by train, you certainly can't drive. It's one of the worst grounds in the world to get to. So I walked in late, and, and we were already 2 0 down, so that was a bit of a blow. That was the night Gascoigne was absolutely sensational, wasn't he? He was sensational. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, we lost by five, but remember, actually, we played okay, we played some nice football at times, and it wasn't really a 5 nil. it was just, it was a terrible start. Uh, but, it, it, you know, it gave a hint that we had some good times to come, but that was the first memory of that season, really. Let's talk more about uh, one or two of the individual players you've mentioned there, yeah. Joe Allen particularly, I mean, the, the, the old no teeth in there, uh, running behind the ring end and celebrating a goal, which he did time after time after time, great memories. Yeah, fantastic, you know, and I bumped into Joe once or twice since then, a real blonde bombshell, you know. I, mean, I tell you, of course, from a Hartlepool point of view, it wasn't just Joe's goals that were important, it was also the sale of Joe as well eventually when he went down to Chelsea, you know, and of course that money helped keep the club afloat and it was absolutely critical at the time. But, you know, I mean, Alan and Baker together are a great striking partnership. You know, one of the keys to our success, there's no doubt about that. The fans absolutely loved Joe, didn't they, you know? Yeah. Um, he is a tremendous player. And I guess one of the other great benefits of that season was Paul Baker. He was captain and he just really led. He was a proper bloke's bloke, wasn't he, out on the pitch? He was a bloke's bloke, yeah. Helen Chamberlain always used to tell me how she used to rent a flat out to him and what a good bloke he was. Well, he was... <laughs> <laughs> he was good on and off the pitch, wasn't he, you yeah. know? So, yeah. again, I mean, you know, he was a fantastic character. I mean, we had a few as well, didn't we? I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, uh, yeah, Rob McKinnon. Yeah, w I mean, what a player, Rob. Dynamite. Dynamite in his boots. You know, absolutely tremendous. And I think that was the time Big John McPhail came in as well, didn't he? At the back. And, and was a real sort of superstar for us as well that season. Uh, you know, there were so many characters. And, and we did what, what always helps make the season as well, is that we went to Darlow, we were having a good season, and we won. I remember that was, what was that before Christmas, wasn't it? Sometime before Christmas. And that really, I thought, was a result that, that kick-started the season, really. I always look back, and uh, my always memory of the Cyril Knowles era and talking about the players that he signed, and he signed a fair few players as well. Uh, John McPhail really was the, 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 main, the main man, was he? Because he came on loan from Sunderland originally. Yeah. And then he, he was, he, again, you talk about leaders and leaders on the football pitch these days, a few and far between at some of the clubs that w w you know we see. But again, McPhail was a leader, wasn't he? Again, a bloke's bloke. A bloke's bloke, yeah, very much so. Uh, the cliche would be he was an old-fashioned centre-half, you know. Not the fastest thing on two legs, but he was all heart. And, and in those days, you were allowed to tackle, and he tackled. And he led, and he was, you know, he's a real example to the rest. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Leads us on uh, to the, the, the bad side of that particular season was, of course, this, uh, the tragedy of Cyril Norris. So it could have gone on to bigger and better things if he'd have still been around, because he, he'd done so much work at the, at the bottom rung, didn't he? Well, you'd always like to think so. I mean, who knows where Sir would have ended up. I mean, he was, you know, a fantastic character. Uh, the players clearly adored him. And the fans certainly adored him, you know. And, look, Alan Murray came in, in in really difficult circumstances. And, of course, with people asking questions about, you know, how he can be on the commercial side one day and the next day be team manager. And he did a brilliant job to, to keep things to keep things going. But I think everybody, Alan included, would say, well, this was Cyril's team. This was Cyril's team that, that got us promotion, and, and, and they did it for it, you know, they did it for him to a, a, a good degree as well. So, I mean, he was, yeah, he was inspirational, and it was, it was just a desperate time, wasn't it? And from Cyril's point of view, tragedy was worse to come. Very much so. 
You mentioned Alan Murray there, and yeah. probably his best moment, and it, it, without doubt, a masterstroke was bringing in Kevin Poole from the Borough. I remember going on bank, uh, I think it was Good Friday, down to Stockport. We just made a decision about three o'clock. Look, Stockport's seven o'clock. It's going to take us an hour or two to get down. And he was unbelievable that night at Edgley Park. He, he, he Probably one of the best performances of a goalkeeper I've seen in an awful long time. Yeah. And the great thing about Kevin Poole is he went on and on and on and on. I mean, not for us, but, you know, elsewhere, you know, it was a masterstroke, wasn't it? To get an experience keeper in who could get you through at that sort of time. I mean, there, were, there were lots of master strokes though. You know, I remember Paul going down to Maidstone. Well, it wasn't Maidstone because the, the player that, because again, it was in the South, you know, and I'm living in London, but it, it was Dartford. Ah, and I mean, I, I don't know if you ever went to there. They played at Dartford's ground. I mean, and that Dartford tunnel, that was built by people who were trying to dig their way out. It is terrible. And, you know, but the, 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 the day was brightened because I think we won by three or four or something like that. And Brian Honest got a couple of goals and he was absolutely brilliant, you know? Yeah. Um, and, it, and that was what the end of the season was like, wasn't it? I don't know, the last 14 games, wasn't it, we were unbeaten. And there were so many fantastic performances and we just got closer and closer and closer. And there were, you know, there were brilliant times. I mean, the shame of it was, if you like, Paul, that I haven't gone up, you know, in a great bunch of lads. The team broke up too quickly, didn't it? I mean, yeah, Joe Allen. All sorts of reasons for it. When Joe's gone off to Chelsea and Paul Dalton's gone off to Plymouth and, you know, Rob, McC Rob McKinnon went off to Motherwell and, yeah, just broke up too quickly, which was a shame. But, you know, they gave us a lot of pleasure while they were together. And, of course, it all ended in lovely glory on that day against Northampton Town when it, apparently there's about 6,000 supporters in there. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> there was a fair few more than that there that day because I remember queuing for ages to get in. <laughs> I think they put it, Gary Gibson put it down as officially, I think about five and a half, if memory serves me right. But I think there was an awful lot more people in there in that yeah. day than there uh, was, like, official. And, of course, it, you know, sod's law, I wasn't there that day. But, you know, who's getting sort of regular reports that, I mean, look, uh, it, it was always it always looked like it was going to be our day didn't it because we'd gone into it full of confidence and when we got a goal up we're, we're quids in and it was, there was just a concern was I think they equalised before half time didn't they but That's we, right. we, we came good in the second half and there's no question that, that that season we were you know we were worthy of promotion we were one of the best sides in the division and there's no doubt about that and that was just the icing on the cake and yeah I wasn't there but I've heard the story fantastic day you know great crowd just begs the question where, where have they all gone now in terms of the crowd you know, yeah, you know why so. can't they come back please very um, but um, no fantastic occasion a fantastic season Jeff just give us one last thought on the uh, the reunion all the players getting back together again in November uh, 20 years on happy days and happy memories and uh, hopefully a lot of people are going to get along there to support the lads as well yeah I wish I was there because yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fantastic at, at the time from Hartlepool's point of view they were the cream of the crop and I'm, I'm sure they are a you know, good bunch of lads you know, if you can get there, get there is the obvious answer. Last question, would they be the, the squad of, of your time at Hartlepool, do you think? Well, I'll tell you what, I've had a long time at Hartlepool, so, you know, when we got promotion in a dim and distant past, you know, with what wasn't quite Cluffy's team, um, I mean, that was a hell of a good squad in the sense of, in those days, a couple of my heroes, people like Ernie Fizian was there, and um, Jimmy Mulvaney was there, you know, and then, you know, we had people like Les Green, Tony Parry, John Sheridan, uh, you know, they were great heroes of mine as well. So it would be one of the squads. And, and also, I think it'd be only fair as well to put in a line about, you know, the, the boys who took us to the, you know, the League One playoff final against Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, that was a phenomenal effort as well. And all of the guys are, are still around now, you know, Richie Humphreys and Mickey Barron and so on and so forth. And that was a smashing squad as well. So, hey, the, the, you know, look, our club does not have the most glorious history. But the great thing is you can remember and appreciate the good times so much. And, and there have been some good 